Yeah, hi friends. In this video, I would like to show you on how to create uh, the percentage of uh, depreciation. So, how to create a, a depreciation percentage um, in the SAP um, for the, to assign it to the depreciation key. To, to maintain the depreciation um, key percentage, uh, we need to maintain the depreciation method for the declining balance. So, how this is uh, done, uh, if you see here, the settings uh, is actually in the here so you need to follow the path in the SPRO financial accounting and asset accounting depreciation and then the depreciation key and after that the calculation methods so here where um, you will be having a declining balance method so this is where you need to maintain the rate of depreciation uh, under the settings so this will be at the end will be assigned it to the depreciation key so now currently we have only um, one 20 percent 25 percent 30 percent and then um, oh, i'm going to create 35 and and 40 something like that so let's see and if you see if you press f1 here you can see what is the declining factor or maximum percentage all this so if you want to know more details yes you can press f1 then the system will automatically show uh, what is the description so the declining the multiplication factor is used in determining the depreciation percentage rate for declining balance depreciation the system multiplies the depreciation percentage rate resulting the total useful life by this factor so it used the factoring also by the system so now i would like to copy this so let's say i am going to create uh, currently four are there so i'm going to get 35 45 and 50. so i copy this all um, so now copy it copy and then this is a five so actually this is a 35 percent and here 35 here 0.5 and this is 35 so press enter now I am going to create. Uh, so uh, now we created. Um, um, uh, so thirty percent is available. So I we forgot to save. No, so I'm going to create. How to create um, thirty five and 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 forty percent, and also forty five and fifty. So I am going to show you that, and uh, it is five and uh, 3.5 here is a factor so this is 35 and which is 5 and this will be 35 so click ok so the system copied the entry now you click on save the system will save it um, um, in the so in the real system you should have a transport request so go back and and again you don't need to go back sorry and you can copy it and again now 40 45 and 50 so three more rows i'm going to create so again i'm going to create is a six declining balance which is a six having four percent so now four zero and uh, this is 40 and here I'm going to 4 and then this will be 0 so again this is going to be 40% 40, 40 press enter it's copied so the system will show whenever copy what is the information is copied so click OK save and then you scroll up maybe sometimes it will hide in it is only showing here so you can see there is a button here so you can scroll up and to see that so now again 45 percent so i copy this for 45 percent so which is a four 
for for again here and four. So click OK. So we already have in five, six, and zero, zero, 007 now. So click save. Now again, 50%. So let's show how to create 50%. So I copy this to create eight, which is eight. Then it will be five. Then also this will be five. And the decline declining factor is also 5 and again 5 press ok save it ok and uh, go back so now we have created the the rate of a uh, depreciation so after creating the rate then this will be assigned to our depreciation key right so if we go in the depreciation key so you can see we have created a depreciation key which is a diminishing declining balance is 5x so if this is active so if you see what is assigned under it so you can see here uh, or or you can click on uh, details so when you click on details so there is a logic behind here so assignment of calculation methods so here there are different methods so by when, when there is an end i will come to this in a different uh, session but now i will just show you on how to assign it the the rate of depreciation to the depreciation key so here you have created the declining balance sorry uh, so the declining balance what is the percentage so if you see the percentage is maintained here so now what I'm going to do is this is my depreciation key uh, which is created is for for the 5x and then actually the depreciation here is uh, zero because it's a different step this will be zero when it is a phase change when the planned useful life is completed so now if it is not completed then if you go back this is from the start of the year so this is where they have maintained 30 percent for entire the planned life so now i will explain the phases later i am don't cover here i'm just showing you on how to maintain the percentage here so now my percentage is actually 50 percent when i click ok press enter then if you click on save this depreciation key will be saved so you see sometimes in the production and um, you will get this kind of error so um, you just click ok if it is a real error then you need to fix it otherwise uh, ignore the warning messages so click ok save and then yeah now if you go back and check the fixed assets so you will see on the depreciation calculation how the system is done so now based on our example if you look into this exercise what we are doing now you can see so now we go to the asset and in the system to see the depreciation oh sorry so we maybe need to change here so if you look this is not uh, the asset one moment so here um, let's see and in the system uh, if you see if you look into this we have changed here 50 percent right so the depreciation and uh, let's see how the system is going to update when you change the depreciation key here so um, you can update the depreciation key in the system by uh, just uh, in the in the simulation mode uh, let's say here can go back 
AS02 and depreciation and here I am going to change DM1 enter 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 so now the depreciation key changed so after change you just click on save enter and go to asset values so now comparisons so you see now so what happened here so if you look into the the system and what you have calculated since you have changed the percentage the system is able to update the correct depreciation so uh, this is uh, how um, the system can update and you can also change from the different uh, areas like uh, what you call uh, straight line to diminishing and diminishing to straight line so that's how change will happen and and what is the implications how the system behave when you do this change and will be explained in the later sessions so this is just to show you on how the depreciation per year will be calculated so you can see uh, here in the system so this is how um, one moment yeah so here if you look into here this is per year so if you look here this is also per year so it stopped when it reaches 50 K. So this is how. So let's see now how the, the period calculations. So if you go here, so you can see for each month how much it is. So to check the each month, you can see now. So this is the each month depreciation. So system will do some rounding up and up or down for each period. So you can see. So this is how the depreciation uh, will be calculated when you change the depreciation keys so this is a monthly depreciation if you look into the system so this is how um, the depreciation you can update so we are we are showing here only the planned so let's say at the start of the asset so let's say what happens in the case if we do uh, a change from straight line to uh, diminishing and diminishing to straight line how the system behave will be explained in the later sessions. Thank you.